So yeah, so I've worn contact lenses for over 15 years. Um, at no point was I told of the risks of wearing contact lenses in the shower or swimming. Um, I'd been swimming and showering in them for about 15 years, no problems. And then uh, last year I went swimming in my contact lenses and I got AK. After going swimming in my contact lenses, a couple of days later I started getting a pain in my eye and I just thought it was a, a, a bog standard eye infection. And so I went into eye casualty and um, they thought it was herpes, herpes simplex keratitis. And so I was diagnosed with uh, HSK uh, for two months and treated for two months. And then um, after about two months, uh, my eye, because it got worse and worse and worse, they decided to do a test for AK and it came back positive. Uh, so I was very lucky in that it came back positive. It was tremendously difficult. Um, on a couple of occasions, my husband had to pick me up off the floor after I just collapsed in, in pain. Um, and, and I mean, on top of the, the stinging and the, the sensation of a knife going into your eye, you also have other problems like your eyes constantly watering and of course it causes problems in your sinuses. So I had um, problems all over this side of the face, um, constant headache, shooting pains up my face, um, shooting headaches. Um, and then of course, because your eye is watering, it's obviously at night time, it's very difficult as well. It's very uncomfortable. Uh, and then on top of that, you've got the light sensitivity. So for about two months, all the curtains in our house were drawn. And at the same time, I was wearing sunglasses. Uh, so because it took two months to diagnose me, um, I, I was in an awful lot of pain um, throughout that time. And I didn't feel like I was allowed to experience that, that much pain because I hadn't been diagnosed with anything serious. Uh, and then once I was diagnosed, um, it was almost a sense of relief because I was allowed to experience that pain. And as time went on, um, you know, my, my pain levels fluctuated quite a lot. But having, getting the pain under control is, uh, is such an important thing for getting through having AK. Uh, because if you don't have your pain under control, you can't get out of bed, you can't do, you can't cook dinner, you, you know, you don't eat, you don't drink, you don't get dressed, you don't have a shower, you don't do anything, um, you can't concentrate on conversations. I think the worst thing about having AK is the pain and the memory of that pain is quite harrowing. And so after... I was discharged um, from the hospital after the AK was um, kind of after I finished treatment for many many months I, I worried about it coming back um, and then I think as well because of I've experienced had this experience because I've experienced so much pain because I'm constantly worried about it coming back I don't take my vision for granted anymore and so I'm a lot more careful with um, with, with my vision I don't wear contact lenses anywhere near as much as I used to, so now I only wear them for special occasions. I used to wear them swimming all the time. I used to wear them nearly every day. Um, so I used to go swimming a lot. Uh, swimming was my, my get out, my escape, and now I hardly ever go swimming. And it's something which I don't think I'll ever have the same relationship with water ever again. Mm -hmm.